I cannot give you my name because the executive director would fire me if he ever found out I spoke with the media. That's how the letter starts. It goes on to say that this tenant violated her Section 8 voucher, which clearly states that the tenant must not damage the unit or premises. In an anonymous phone call, that tenant admitted to cigarette burns on the ground and urine from multiple animals, both clear violations of her lease. I spoke multiple times with Mark Adelson, the executive director of Portland Housing Authority, about this issue. Based on what I have witnessed, this tenant clearly violated this, so why was their voucher not removed? Well, it, it wasn't brought to our attention. We expect the landlord to uh, bring that to our attention. And the landlord's claims they did bring it to your attention after the tenant moved out. Right. And after that, we expect that to take place while the tenant's in tenancy. So this, this makes it a very different situation. He says landlord Paul Taylor should have said something before the tenant moved out. But she's already gone and the PHA can't revoke her voucher now. We just expect the landlords to do uh, thorough examinations of their apartments on a periodic basis and to know these things about their tenants. A lot of things are bubble gummed up before I get there. They know their inspection's coming, they fix a lot of things. Over the 11 years the tenant lived at the apartment, the Taylors threatened to kick her out twice because of multiple lease violations. One letter was even signed by the housing authority, showing that they knew about these problems during her stay. But when she packed up and moved out, the housing authority says she passed her final inspection, despite the obvious damage to the house. Now she lives in another main city with a housing voucher, subsidized by taxpayers. New Center obtained a copy of that final inspection. And in that, it identified those cigarette burns, among several other pieces of damage, but that tenant still passed inspection. Why is that? Uh, cigarette burns in, the, in, in their own don't don't uh, disqualify or don't uh, mean that it won't pass our housing quality standards, which is the measure or standard we use uh, that's required by HUD. Would you agree that those are fairly low housing standards? They are the housing standards that we have and we have to use them. Paul Taylor listened to our interview with the director. He is still not satisfied. Frustration is she got to move on to another landlord and do the same thing. The anonymous letter author agrees writing, certainly Portland Housing could have and should have pulled their voucher. And either way, the next landlord ends up with a tenant known to be destructive or worse. And that landlord, Paul Taylor, says his verbal complaints are falling on deaf ears. He plans to send a formal written complaint to the housing authority and then take his case to court.